For over a century since it was found in a shipwreck, scientists have been scratching their heads over the exact function of the Antikythera mechanism, named after the Greek island off which it was found. From a few words deciphered on the corroded fragments of bronze gears and plates, experts guessed it was an astronomical instrument, but much more remained obscure. After a decade's work using top-notch imaging technology, scientists have now decoded almost all the inscriptions they could find on what's left of the tool, and they say it was a kind of guide to the galaxy, perhaps even the world's oldest mechanical computer. There are a lot of particular things that we learn from the text about the way that people could uh, predict eclipses and what kinds of things that they predicted about eclipses around maybe a 100 BC, uh, as well as what their understanding was of planetary motion. Uh, and this is really valuable because this is a period for which we know very little about where Greek astronomy was. The mechanism originally had the rough dimensions of an office box file. It was encased in wood and operated with a hand crank. It could also add, multiply, divide and subtract. We now know a great deal about what the mechanism did. It's still a question that people can debate about what it was for. What did the designer mean it to do? What did the person who commissioned it expect to do with it? My personal feeling is that this is not a research tool for a scientist who is going to use it in connection with observations to work out theory. It's an educational tool. Scientists think it charted the movements of the sun and the moon, the position of the planets, and that it predicted eclipses. It's still unclear what happened for that technology to have been lost and unrivaled for at least another thousand years until medieval clocks appeared in Europe.